Quantity versus quality. The answer is probably not what you think. I recently finished the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, and there's one story in the book that particularly stuck out to me. And I was like, duh, that's me. The story is from another book, Art and Fear by David Bales and Ted Orlin, and they share an example of a professor of a film photography class at the University of Orlando, and his name was Jerry Yulesman. Sorry for the pronunciation. He divided students in the class into two groups, and group A was told that they would be graded at the end of the semester based purely on the quantity of photos that they turned in, with 100 photos at the end of the semester equaling an A grade. Group B was told that they would be graded solely on the quality of one photo that they turned in. It would need to be nearly perfect, but they only had to take one photo to pass this class. The story goes on to say that the professor was surprised at the end of the semester, all of the best photos were submitted from the quantity group, not the quality group. The quantity group spent the semester taking photos trying different composition, lighting, and darkroom techniques. And most importantly, they made mistakes and they were able to learn from those mistakes. They got better. Group B sat around speculating and theorizing what a perfect photograph would be and ended up submitting one mediocre photograph. You can probably find a quote about learning from your mistakes from every thought leader in almost any industry. A lot of us spend so much time speculating and trying to plan for perfection that we don't make enough mistakes to become good at what we do. Sometimes I've fallen into this group myself. We spend time thinking that a better camera or more B-roll or more knowledge will make the perfect video. While all of these could help, not making more videos is what really keeps us from producing good content. Voltaire summed it up in one sentence, the best is the enemy of good. One of the things that's often overlooked in this is the pure volume of content being produced on the internet today is even if you are able to make the perfect video, the odds are that it'll never go viral or be seen by that many people. My mindset for the longest time has always been quality over quantity, but in life and in business, I found that it's just not true that often. If you wanted to become the best basketball player, perfecting the form of a free throw is less valuable than simply playing as much basketball as you possibly can. If you wanted to become a world-renowned photographer, spending time speculating and attempting to take one perfect picture per day would be less valuable than getting out and taking hundreds of pictures every day. In the same sense, if you wanted to create a strong personal brand for your business or profession, creating content every day is far more valuable than speculating on what the perfect piece of content would be for weeks. My perspective of quality versus quantity has definitely changed over the past few years, but I still believe that quality is an important factor in the content that you produce, especially in video. Having high quality audio and good lighting are very important to keeping your audience engaged. But spending time speculating about what content may do well or weeks perfecting that script for the video that you're gonna produce, they just don't have a positive return on the investment of time. You're better off making more content than spending large amounts of time trying to make the perfect piece of content. So tell me your thoughts below. What do you think about quality versus quantity?